If you have a MATHS and a VCA, you have a compressor. Setting up a compressor with a modular system is actually fairly straightforward. You don't even necessarily need a MATHS, just some of the building blocks of which is comprised. Before we do the actual patch, let's talk about how a compressor is structured and which tools on MATHS we're going to use in order to achieve this effect. This is a basic block diagram of a compressor. It consists of two circuits, the sidechain and the amplifier. The audio input is split and goes into each of them. The level detector's job is to determine when the audio has exceeded the threshold, and in which case the amplifier needs to do its job. The amplifier is a voltage-controlled amplifier, VCA, which we should be familiar with in the modular world. When the level goes above the threshold, the VCA will reduce the volume by a given amount, usually set by the ratio. The attack and release will determine how quickly the VCA reduces the volume or attenuates it, uh, and then releases it to go back up to the normal output and then the audio is output here. It should be noted that this is always referred to the sidechain, even if you're basically splitting out the same input audio. Now you can input another signal, which these days is what people commonly think of when they think of sidechain compression. So in this case, you could have an external signal controlling the amplitude of your audio input. And it's interesting because with modular synthesis, that's what we do all the time. We put an audio input or control voltage into a VCA, and then we use a separate, completely unrelated signal to control it. A common use for this today is to input the kick drum, which can lower the VCA volume at a regular interval, giving sort of a pumping or breathing effect. The diagram in the top right represents what our end goal is. We want our VCA to have a voltage that's normally high, so the VCA is all the way open. That means our audio will go through. And then over time, we want it to be attenuated or dip down in order to apply the compression effect. So we have to figure out how to get our audio input from the original signal to create this voltage. Let's take an example of our audio input. In this case, we'll say it's something with a lot of transient content, like the drum loop that we're gonna use in the example. Our goal is to take this audio output and turn it into this. The first thing we wanna do is slow this down from an audio rate, because we don't want our VCA responding at an audio rate. That could result in distortion or other nasty artifacts. So what we wanna do is take the envelope of this in order to get basically the rough shape of it without necessarily all the audio rate oscillations. So for that, we would use something like a slew limiter. So the green line here, we can kinda of see the envelope that our envelope follower is creating. And then this would be the output voltage, sort of a sub-audio control voltage rate uh, that corresponds to each transient event. Now what we need to do is invert that, but this only gets us part of the way there. We're not quite at this signal yet. And then I'll, what we need to do is still add an offset in order to create that final version. And once we add that offset, we can see we've approximated what we see up here. We started with some transient inputs. We've taken their envelope, inverted them, and then offset so that our normally open VCA will have volume reductions over time based on the audio input. So what we need is a module that can first take the envelope of something, invert the signal, and add an offset. So clearly what we're going to be using is the make noise woggle bug. I mean, the make noise maths. Like I said before, the patch is going to be fairly straightforward. All we need is the maths and a VCA. I'm going to be using as this Optimix as a VCA. Even though it's a low-pass gate, I found there was a little bit too much distortion with the mod mix, uh, and the Optimix sounds pretty good and those are the main VCAs I have in my system. I find it's easiest to hear compression uh, using drums when you really have a smashed drum bus. Uh, so for this demonstration, we're going to use uh, a sample um, coming out of the disting that's going through a buffered multiple down here uh, to the VCA and then to this cable, which will go into maths. But uh, first, let's hear the drum loop. Like I said, the disting is just playing that. Uh, it's from my uh, random break beats folder. It's pretty obscure. I don't think anyone's used it for anything before. Um, I thought it was pretty neat. Maybe someone will have to use that or sample it someday or something. But what we're going to do is send it first to the Optimix and then also to the mats. So for this, I'm going to send it to channel 1. I'm using the long cable so I can kind of keep it out of the way here. So in this patch, we're going to be using the Rise as our attack control, which I'm going to have set pretty low. The fall is our release control. And effectively, the attenuverter coming out of channel one is going to be our threshold. So we're going to go through the steps that we saw in the diagram on the whiteboard is we're going to have to set up maths as an envelope follower. We're going to have to invert the signal, 
offset it, and then send it to the VCA. Now, this may be a peculiar thing with the way Maths has his gain staging, but what I found works best um, when trying to work this out was to use the dedicated output and send it directly into channel 2. Now, in theory, you could bypass that and just send channel 1 through the bus, but like I said, for some reason, the way the gain is structured, I found this to be the easiest. So we'll take the output of channel 1 and go into channel 2. And the final output that we're going to be using for this patch is the sum output. So we'll send the sum output, and that's going to be controlling the CV on our VCA. So now that we've got that all plugged in, if we have all our channels zeroed out, we're going to invert channel 1 by taking the attenuverter and going fully counterclockwise. We're going to send it channel 2 to positive because we want the full value of that. And 3 is going to be our offset, which is going to bring up the voltage so it can dip down. So now if we turn up our, here, let's turn down channel 1 so it's null. If we turn up our VCA, we can hear it. So now all we have to do is start adding in the negative voltage from channel 1, and we'll start hearing the compression as we lower it. So that's pretty aggressive compression there. And what I'll do in, in post here is bring up the level a little bit, but like I said, there's no makeup gain in this setup, and someone with a bigger rack than myself would probably have a module that can add gain, uh, which I don't have. I can add offsets, but I don't have any sort of uh, a gain to add here. So we can hear the uncompressed version. Here's the compressed version. Uncompressed version. Compressed, uncompressed. Now if I turn this up again, and I start, we're at full compression now. If I start increasing the rise to, to slow down the attack, it sounds a little more natural. But at some point, it's gonna be so slow that all of the transients are gonna pass right by. Same with the release. If I turn the release all the way up, at some point it never releases and it's always closed. You could back off on this a little bit, have a little bit of less aggressive compression. That's that's pretty extreme compression right there. I don't know if that's terribly useful, but it's there. But really, it's a fairly straightforward patch. Um, you're not tying up too many channels of maths. You still have channel 4 open for an envelope. Um, you need one signal molted out. Uh, to go into your VCA, but it's just a good exercise. And you might not need a dedicated compressor module because a compressor is usually going to be a pretty special case thing. You might not need it for everything. So if you need one in a pinch, just realize you can set it up uh, with Maz or, like I said, the, the similar toolbox and your VCA.